Hi, my name is Sachin Matthew, and by request, I am going to try to initiate a conversation with Mr. Alan Herman on the subject of circular momentum and momentum in general. So, for a second, assume that you're a drumstick. You know that for when you're up here, you're going to make a louder sound when you hit than when you're down here. But also, you can make a, soft, a softer sound from up here also. This is because your drumstick, it has, because it's made of wood, or just anything in general, it has this thing called mass. Mass pretty much means it's made of stuff. So, what happens when you stroke, it's because you're moving the stick in one direction, it gains it gains this thing called velocity, which means motion in one general direction. So, you're doing this, and you're stroking, and this mass of a stick is gaining uh, motion in one direction, which is right here. So, what happens is, your stick, to like make that sound that you all know of, it also has this thing called acceleration which is the increase of motion in a general direction. So, you're stroking, and then it's gaining speed. Gaining speed until it hits the pad. And then that like energy that was created while it was moving is sort of absorbed into the pad. But not all of it's absorbed into the pad. Some of it is just going out into the air, which is what we call sound. But when we accelerate, we also generate this thing called momentum. And momentum is that force that we were talking about. It's the energy that's created when something accelerates. So when that momentum hits, uh, when that momentum makes contact with the pad, it gets uh, dispersed into the air and into the drums, uh, drum pad. So that momentum, as it is energy, it makes stuff move. And as it makes like air, the air like move quickly, it makes sound. And that sound is what you normally hear when you stroke. You don't really think about the momentum and the acceleration and all that stuff. But that's there too. So now that you know what momentum is, let's talk about circular momentum. So circular momentum is what happens when the drumstick moves in a circular motion because the drumstick as it starts here it goes and hits the drum here you see the tip makes like part of a circle as it goes down you could also think of the drum as like the radius of a circle so if it would go all around it would make one circle so what happens is as it moves in this circular motion it creates this thing called circular momentum which is sort of like the momentum before but instead of being created when something just moves and like speeds up, it's when something moves around in a circular motion. So it creates a momentum that goes outwards rather than downwards. As you can see, the momentum goes outwards like this. I learned about circular momentum when there's, let's say there's a bicycle wheel and it's on a rope. And you know that the bicycle wheel is going to be like down like this, but then when you spin the bicycle wheel, if you spin it fast enough, that bicycle wheel will eventually turn up, like like straight forward, because there is like the circular momentum is pushing outward and allowing is sort of like a, a lessened effect of gravity. Uh, so because of the circular momentum you can, uh, it changes the volume in many ways toward the great distance. The circular momentum, it carries the sound that was produced by the normal momentum out, out into the audience. This is why drummers don't really need to have like, like great big bells on our instruments so that the audience can hear us. It's actually pretty awesome if you tell me. Thank you, that was my thesis on the momentum.